Hello, my name is Kiran Kumar. I am your physics lecturer. Today's topic is waves in which we will discuss the displacement relation in a progressive wave. Considering a simple harmonic plane wave which is traveling from the origin O along the positive x axis. See, for this, considering O is the zero time, then from the origin this time is taken as t by 4 this is t by 2 and this is 3 t by 4 and this is t this is time taken to complete one wave is called time period okay and then we can take the distance between the two successive particles of the medium is called wavelength so here i'm considering this is the wavelength between the two successive particles so wavelength indicator letter is lambda okay so it is at a position p so where is that it is at a position p of a particle after time t seconds how much time here after the time t seconds so after time t it reach a position p and the wave is moving with a velocity v wave is moving with a velocity v then we can write the displacement after t seconds that is y which is equal to a sin omega t see here a is the amplitude of the wave what is amplitude the maximum displacement of the particle from the mean position so this is the positive amplitude this is the negative amplitude positive and negative we can consider here okay so then here for the reference circle for example considering the particle is moving along the circumference of the circle with angular velocity omega in anti-clockwise direction see here the particle moving from the x to y then we can take this is the time t by 4 so here also we can consider the time is t by 4 if the particle move from the y to x dash then that is taken as also t by 4 but x to x dash time is taken as t by 2 then here we can consider the time is t by 2 okay so now the particle is moving from the x dash to y then time taken that is taken as 3 t by 4 how much 3 t by 4 3 t by 4 and here the time is 3 t by 4 okay and the particle move from the uh, y dash to x and time t taken to complete one rotation and we can consider the displacement along the x x dash the time taken to complete one oscillation which is equal to time taken to complete one rotation okay so here time we are considering capital t that is time period to complete one rotation of the wave okay already we know this uh, relation in wave sorry in oscillation chapter uh, that equation y is equal to a sine omega t okay in a earlier time the wave particle at a point p dash c then the wave is moving with a velocity v and p position is same only so now the distance between the p dash and p is considering as x c and time taken from p dash to p is t dash okay it's time takes between the okay origin to the p dash position that we are considering that is t minus t dash because of total time from origin to p position is t and p dash to p is t dash time and here remaining time between the o and p dash is t minus t dash here the displacement is a function of the time okay so y is equal to, okay that is f into t minus t dash here we can write y is equal to f into that is t minus t dash value is x by v why 
listen to me here velocity is equal displacement by time and time is equal displacement is x divided by velocity the time is taken as t dash try to understand so then y which is equal to a sin omega into t minus x by v okay already given proof y is equal to a sin omega t according to the wave equation so then y is equal to a sin wave displacement equation y is equal to a sin omega t minus omega by v into x okay here v is equal to omega by k and k is equal to omega by v then y which is equal to a sin omega t minus kx this is the displacement relation of the wave in a progressive wave try to understand and second method also we can discuss now displacement relation in a progressive wave two cases we will discuss see step by step first considering o is the origin of the wave the wave is traveling with a velocity v initially the wave is at a point p okay and the time taken is t not okay on the x axis we are considering time this is positive x axis positive x axis see after the time t it reach a point p dash with same velocity the time is considering t here okay and the difference between the p and p dash time is considering t dash okay and the distance is i am considering x between the p to p dash and here displacement is a function of time okay so we can write here y is equal to f of t c this is the function of time here so the time is considering here t not try to understand step by step so here t which is equal to t not plus t dash here t not is equal to t minus t dash then y is equal to f of t minus t dash then y is equal to a sin omega into t minus t dash here v is equal to s by t and t dash is equal to x by v try to understand okay so this is t dash then y which is equal to a sin omega t minus omega into t dash value is x by v okay so here v is equal to wave velocity omega by k and k is equal to omega by v then y is equal to a sin omega t minus k x okay so continuation we can consider here o is the origin continuation here on the x axis considering displacement that is x okay so and on the y axis is okay that is the displacement equation this is horizontal displacement here relation between the here simply we can say the displacement is function of the time here displacement is function of the horizontal direction displacement of the wave okay see now for this this is the position of the particle is p and that initial distance is considering is x not and the wave is moving with a velocity v it reach a point p dash okay so that a distance we are considering x and remaining is we can take x dash that is between p and p dash here displacement is a function of x so we can write 
the d is taken as x naught then x is equal to x naught plus x dash and x dash which is equal to sorry x naught which is equal to x minus x dash okay so your displacement y is a function of x naught but x naught is equal to x minus x dash so y which is equal to a sine k into x minus x dash and here x dash is equal to vt here x dash is equal to how much the value which is equal to vt the value is equal to vt okay because of velocity is equal to displacement by time okay then we can consider here x dash is equal to vt okay so y which is equal to a sin k into x minus vt so y which is equal to a sin kx minus kv into t here kv which is equal to kv which is equal to omega okay so then we can write y which is equal to a sin kx minus omega t so here majorly we will consider y is equal to a sin omega t minus kx which is function of the time here y is equal to a sin kx minus omega t which is the function of the displacement okay please copy this now different equations of the progressive wave y which is equal to a sin omega t minus kx where omega is equal to 2 pi by t r we can write 2 pi mu and k which is equal to 2 pi by lambda then y which is equal to a sin 2 pi mu into t minus 2 pi by lambda into x so y which is equal to a sine 2 pi a is common okay so then what small d divided by capital t minus x divided by lambda because of frequency is inversely proportional to the time period then y which is equal to a sine 2 pi by lambda is common then continuation equation that is lambda by capital t into small t minus x only so then y which is equal to a sine here 2 pi by lambda which is equal to k that is lambda by t is v into t minus x here we can write lambda by t which is equal to velocity of the wave and continuation we can write k value that is v is equal to omega by k okay and k is equal to omega by v replacing in the above equation see where y which is equal to a sine okay that is instead of k i am writing omega by v into that is vt minus x so y which is equal to a sine okay omega t multiplied inside omega t v we get cancel minus omega by v into x otherwise we can write y is equal to a sine omega is common t minus x by v these are the different equations for the progressive waves please copy